Okay, this is the first one. This is the last one. I've got it flushed up here. Pretty much now I do. And that is beautiful. I mean, just it's in. It's, it's so close that I'm not even going to mention it. It's just it's good. Uh, it, more more than acceptable. It's not perfect, but it is. It's going to work much better than my last uh, setup I had. So now this is going to be my first cut. I gotta I gotta get this dialed in so that the rest of them go as well as the first one here. Let me get the rest of the boards over here. say in the big leagues now you're you do not want to screw up now that's beautiful I was checking these intermittently as I was running these through and that is right on the money. Okay, so center. I've got to find center here. I think this is still set. Maybe not. mark that's approximate center I don't think I'll make it on the other end stop a lot better. I'm going to make a little adjustment to that as well. Alright, so that's there. That's too much, I think. I'm going to move this over. going to take some time but I just wanted to show you this I made an adjustment to my stop so that it registers more fully on this cut uh, this was cut with my old setting on the miter saw so it might have a little bit of an angle to it but nonetheless I've got that the way I want it um, I moved my fence this way a little bit so I'm offset I mean I'm more toward the center and then uh, I have to make sure that I keep things clean down here. So I'm going to make this cut. I'll do it the same way I did the, uh, the uh, test board you saw there. And I'm going to uh, just sneak up on the, uh, on the fit. And then we'll make some fine adjustments from there. So I'll come back after I get two pieces cut and we'll take a look at it. That's a perfect fit. 
I need it to just be a little bit looser because when that, when that finish goes on there. Well, here's the method I settled on. Um, I've, I've left this alone. This is set so that this opening is just a hair too small. Then what I've done to get that fit I, I like, is I put it in here, take a business card, let that space it over just that little bit, uh, run it. Let me run it here for you. Turn it, run it again, check the fit, and then um, do it again if necessary. So I'll knock this out, come back and check the fit, I'm pretty sure it's going to be too narrow. Let me do that, I'll be right back. Yep, so same procedure here. gets in there that'll be that'll, should should work just great all right the original plan was to get uh, you know fill this area base uh, underneath the, the shelf underneath there fill it with X's 
you know, running this way. Now the I've got a nice fit. You know, you can hear just that little bit there. I like that fit. This is the loosest one of the bunch that I'm going to keep. And when I say that, what I mean is uh, I'm only going to put three rows of X's. Now my daughter can decide whether she wants them tight or with a little spacing in between them. And by that I mean uh, like this. So if you were looking at the, the shelf underneath, what I was going to do was I could space them about like that. And I think that would look pretty nice. But if she wanted to, she could bring them up tight too. No problem there. And uh, my idea of like using uh, dominoes in here as uh, like lock spacers to, to keep these surfaces flush. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'll just leave this alone until she decides if she wants to. If she wants to put them tight, I can always put dominoes in there, and then uh, she can kind of snap close them like that. But anyway, that's that. That's. What I'm going to do is just do it like this. And the uh, reason I'm only doing three rows is because I don't have enough room to get in there to lock the fourth one. So it, it has to be that way. It also gives me the ability then to get rid of a couple of these that are just a little too sloppy. This one is just a little too sloppy as, as well as this pair here. I mean, if I, had, if I had to put them into service, it wouldn't be a big deal, but that way I can eliminate these and keep these, uh, these ones that give me that nice fit that I'm looking for. So there you go. Truth be told, it doesn't even go back and catch that third one back there, but I guess if you want to put them back like that far, that it, it would. So the spacing, you could space them a little tighter together, I think, if you wanted to. But the concept works. All right, so I put the X together. That gives me a, a base to ride on. And then just gently push it against that block. Move it back a few times and just put that that square edge on it perpendicular to the tabletop and so that when the two X's meet they have a flat a tiny flat edge there to to butt up against each other actually I'll just use the side this time
You can just see the tiny little flat I'm putting on there. All right, I'll do the rest of them and then we can, uh, you know, sand these edges as well.